That's them. Controlled urbanization and it stops here and it stops now! Yeah! yeah. Come on. Thanks, Maggie. Right, so here's the gen. I have it on good authority that the bulldozers are coming in next Tuesday morning. His dad's on the city council. Uh, no, he's not. Techni yes, he is, technically, but low down. We're basically a working class family. My mum works in the NHS. She's a doctor. Right, the point is, Alice, the point, the point is, they are coming next Tuesday, and we are going to be there, right? right? We will camp out overnight if we have to, and if they want to destroy our parkland, they will have to drag us out in chains! Yeah! Yeah! Great. We'll go to look with it all, then. You, you'll be there. Uh... Lisa, Jenna, you've got to be there. This is your revolution. And yours, go. And mine, obviously. But if I see further than others, it is only because I stood on the shoulders of giants. Happy hour at the SU, go. Cracking. We'll continue this there. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I think we're a little bit old for the student union. <laughs> Don't be daft. They'll just think you're mature students. What are you, 30? 30? Oh, well. Ballpark. <laughs> Ballpark. There you go, then. Drinks on us, Natch. Come on, everyone. Yeah! yeah! Could go for one. He's on the way home. Don't want to insult the guy. Ooh, let's go for one and leave. Right. Here they are, look. Who's that? Gopher. Nice lad. Comes to our calf. Very uh, popular with the ladies. Remind you of anyone, eh, Baz? <laughs> In the flesh? Well, not quite, but the night's young. <laughs> Do you know what I said, Baz? She went, you here. Everyone heard you. Um, um, Dan, this is Gopher. Gopher, this oh, is... This is Dan. Yes, of course. I have heard so much about you. Have you? Yeah. How behind every great woman there is a quiet, humble man. What? Is that what she said? <laughs> but, um... We're having a little jam session later over in the teepee. Raise spirits for the big push, so if you fancy popping across, then... Yes! Then, then um... And you're all very welcome. Right, well... Better get these in the cooler, then. Cos you are the only... ...one... All right. I did, um, go for... Dan. Dan. You... Can I, um, can I borrow you for a bit? You don't mind, do you? Yeah, what's up? No, 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 bring that. Once we'd finished our sausages. <laughs> Been hanging out with Gopher. Oh. I know you. 
You're little Gordon Fairfax, aren't you? Your, your, your mother owns that large house on Elm Park Avenue? No, no. Nah. Oh. Someone else. Oh, nah. Um, anyway, guys, I think I'd uh, swing by and play you a couple of tunes. I think you like this one. It's a bit of a classic, or so I'm told. It's a little band called Mumble Hedge. She's all of five foot four with attitude. Never fails to ask for more when she's in the mood. Forget those come to bed eyes. She's just one of the guys And when you see her Then you'll need her from her head to her thighs When you're near me Can you feel me? And will you ever Take it easy? Take it easy, lady, take it easy, lady, take it easy, lady, whoa, take it easy, lady, take it easy. quiet word here. I warned you what was happening. No, 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 no. That's too quiet. Speak up so everybody can hear you. Why are you doing this? I mean, just look at this place. Look at it. Why in God's name are you fighting to save it? I don't think it's even about that anymore. Well, then what's it about? Standing up to bullies. <laughs> you do realise that I'm standing for council next year, don't you? And that I will win, because in the end, I always win. Now, you're both businesswomen. Do you really want to make an enemy of the guy who'll practically be running this town in 12 months? Hmm? Yeah, yeah not why not? <laughs> Big mistake. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so are we, uh... I know what I said. Nobody's going anywhere. I'll be back. Comfy lads. Hey, it's a telly crew. They're gonna wanna talk to us. Oh god. I can't go on camera. I look like I've slept in a tent all night. Maybe I should talk to them. I'm already made up. It's the news, not the X-Files. Lisa! What is he doing? He called them. Why would he do that? I don't know. Where is he going now? Lisa? What? I just want to tell you how proud I am of you. The both of you. I know when you started all this, I was a bit... But I was wrong. And, and it's like you said, it's not even about the park. It's about standing up for what's right. So whatever happens now, you know. Sorry? 
I'm just saying you, you've done what you set out to do. What do you mean? Whatever happens now. Are you saying we're not going to win? I'm, I'm saying it doesn't matter. He's right, love. It really doesn't. I mean, look what you've done here. Look at all these people. You've done this. We did. We did this. We galvanised an entire community, me and you. Yeah, I know. And we're still going to win. Well, maybe you will, maybe you won't. That's not the point. The point is what you've achieved. It's like Rocky, you know, the first one. He showed him what he was made of, and it doesn't matter that he didn't win. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. I haven't seen it yet. I don't understand. You're all talking like it's a lost cause or something. Jenna? Hey, I'm in it to win it, but if we don't, I'm just happy we made life as difficult for the pillar as we could. Hey, up. He's got a megaphone. Oh, God. He's going to make a speech. <laughs> come here today. I know what you all think this is about, but I'm here to tell you you're wrong. <laughs> the plans for this park don't involve trying to take something away from you. Yeah. They're about trying to give you something <laughs> back. <laughs> now, I know what you've read in the papers, I know what you've seen on the news, but this has not been an open debate. You've not heard my side of the story. We don't want to hear your side. You've not heard just what it is I'm offering you all. Well, let's hear it now, then. Yeah. You want an open debate? Well, let's have one. Yeah. Need homes. People will always need homes. Your children will need homes. Your children's children will need homes. Leave my... Leave my children's children out of this. This land here has stood disused now for nearly a decade. Nobody wants it. Nobody cares. And I'm sure you've all heard what goes on here on Tuesday nights. Now, is that really how you want it to stay? Well, perhaps you have some better idea of what we should do with it. Better idea? Oh, I don't know. Let me think. A better idea of what to do with a park. Hmm, maybe make it a park? Yeah! You see, what Linda Johnson fails to be... Lisa! My name is Lisa! 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 What you fail Lisa, to realise is that renovating a park like this costs money. Now, a lot of money. Now, who's going to pay for that, eh? You? Well, maybe I will. Yeah! Oh, 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 let's not go mad here. Maybe we all will. Yeah. Oh, here's an idea. Maybe you will. Well, you're all about giving something back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that really what you want? Does this woman really speak for all of you? Yeah. Yeah. Woman, give me that. Woman, let me tell you. Press the button. You've got to press the button at the bottom. Press it. Let me tell you something. This woman and this woman and all our friends and family that are here today. We don't speak for you. You speak for you. You speak for Mount Pleasant. Yeah. Tell him. Tell him what you want. <laughs> Nothing means more to me than the wishes of this community. I will personally pay for the repair and restoration of this park. We've won! We've won. Yeah. What are you doing? Winning, Linda. Just like I told you I would. My name is Adam 
Wyatt, and I am your next district councillor. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Ollie. Hello. Oh, sugar. Forgot my handcuffs. It's all right. We've got some in the tent. What's that you were saying about a real man? <laughs> <laughs> 